All right, so welcome to Photoshop. So we're going over apply image, which is like absolutely my favorite uh, tool for toning images, especially when it would be impossible to make a selection and it would be very difficult um, to make a traditional mask and have this effect work well. So what we're gonna do just for best practices, we're gonna hit Command J and duplicate our background layer. That would be Control J for a Mac. And I'm simply just going to make an adjustment layer. And I'm going to darken my shadows. I'm going to bring my highlights back up. All right. So if we go back to our layers, we can turn this on and off. And so we have kind of this adjustment here where we're applying it everywhere to the whole image. But I just want to darken the shadow areas in some of the midtones, but not the highlights. So what we're going to do is go up to Image, Apply Image. You're going to leave everything as it is in its default, which is Merged, RGB, Multiply, 100%. The only part you're ever going to change is your Invert button. And so right now it's applying it to the, this was applying it to the highlight areas which we don't want in this it's applying it to our shadow areas so we're gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna come over here and hold alt option on my computer so if I hold alt option and I click on my mask it's gonna show me the mask so right now we're in a negative this is a positive and this is a negative and that's really the difference on how it applies it to certain areas so remember white is where it's uh, letting this effect uh, show through and black is where it's blocking it from so notice the transitions are very subtle and smooth so what apply image gives you is this beautiful mask of when you make this adjustment you can't tell like where it starts and stops if you were to try to brush this into this area you would definitely see a line or sort of a halo of where this happened What's really cool is if apply image doesn't give you the perfect mask, you can come in here and just make a simple curves adjustment mask Now you can use levels or whatever you want. So I can actually control this mask more. So if I want to have more on the shadows, right? And I'll block more of my highlights. So I, it's kind of a crazy mask, but it's gonna work in this image and once again you still can't tell where that started and stopped which is absolutely wonderful so what if I want to brighten up my highlights here we're gonna just do the opposite so I'll just come in here and get those highlights up yeah that's really cool so we're gonna go back to the curves we're gonna go back to apply image and in this case, we're going to apply the adjustment to the highlight. So right now, we're applying it to the highlight side of the image, but we're not applying it to the shadows. So if I come back here, you can see we're brightening up our highlights, but not our shadows. No, it's definitely because there's a lot of highlights here. It's affecting that, and it's getting it too bright. So I can tell you right now, I don't like what's happening here. So what we can do then is simply just grab our brush, make this brush a little softer, and I can come in here and paint that out. So I've got black here as my foreground color, and since I don't want that to affect this ground level, I just want it to happen up there in the sky, I can simply just paint this out so if you come back into the mask you can see it's just a traditional mask like oh, I missed that area we can just come in here and paint that out so now I'm just hiding it from this and just using that effect up there in the top so now when I turn this kind of on and off it's just making this area glow all right so and just like anything else I can lower my opacity here and I can kind of paint that center back in um, and darken that area a little bit so that is using apply image so that's our first image 
All right, so our next image here, once again, we're going to hit Command-J to duplicate. And we're going to do the same thing. So in this image, I want to just darken this area in here. So we have kind of a cool funnel effect. What's weird is this isn't really a shadow. This has been brightened up so much this, um, that it, it's actually kind of a mid-tone. It's okay, so we're just going to bring our mid-tones way down. We're going to make a really weird curve. throw that point away I think we're a little bit too strong all right so we've made a pretty wild curve adjustments in this image so I'm gonna come up here to apply image and this is kinda of really just to show you the effect so right now this is getting applied to the highlights but we want it on the shadow areas right so I'm gonna hit OK so now we're applying this image that's making all those shadow areas darker. Now it is affecting the shadows in the sky as well, right? So if I like it just darker like this, that can work. Now it's getting a little bit dark over here. I can lower that opacity and get that blend sort of where I want it. But then the problem is over here, it's getting too light. So I'm gonna take that back so that looks good. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a portion of this out. So we're going to make our opacity, oh, we'll just try, right. I think it was like around 50%, look pretty good. And we're just going to come up here and paint 50% of that effect out and try to match that side. And that was a perfect no. So once again, if I want to come in here now, if I want to block this light from hitting that, I can come up here and maybe I'll do 70%. So I'm just up here in the sky and I'm simply telling Photoshop by using a mask to not apply as much of what I did. So where I wanted it to increase the shadows, I didn't want it to increase the shadows um, up here as much as I did right here. So if we go back into our mask, we can see um, how that's been applied. And I can further adjust it and work on it if I want. So come back. Whoops. Here, Alt-Option, click, and I can turn this on and off. So cool effect. And so you could do the same opposite. So if I wanted to increase my highlights, I could easily come up here, make one where I just sort of brighten up those highlight areas a little bit more go to apply image and apply that to the highlight areas only and then when I come back I'm just kind of brightening those highlights now, I might not want that to happen in the highlight in the trees so I could paint that out if I just wanted it in the sky all that's personal preference and up to you so same thing happens here I just went in and opened up the shadows and just the shadow areas and the last image I have here is this tree so cool tree right but it's a looks like an HDR image um, it's not what I want I want a black tree in a white sky so how do we get that so first thing we're gonna do is make a black and white adjustment layer and I'm gonna come in here and make a curves adjustment. I'm gonna open up my highlights and I'm gonna make my image more contrasty. And I'm gonna darken my shadows and bring my curve back up. This is not a normal curve, pretty drastic. So we've made this curve. Now we're gonna come up here to image, go to apply image. And this is just gonna help further make sure that this applies only to a certain area. So we're going to hit apply image we'll go back and we got this cool mask here right so in this i kind of i want it to apply there so like let's say i just want to make this white i can literally come in here and paint that away as long as i do a good job now we're getting full effect here so even though this tree has some little highlights and stuff 
um, because of the HDR. I don't, I don't want that in there. I want this totally black. So we're going to just simplify this mask a little bit in this case. So our effect is working a little bit better. So that looks pretty good. Now there's an issue here and I do know how to fix it, but I'm not going to go into it because it will make it too complicated. So uh, once again, we've made that sort of um, darken that tree. So we're going to come up here and make another adjustment and I want to blow out the sky. So I'm just going to affect those highlights. We're going to go back over to apply image and we're just going to apply this right to the highlights of the trees. So we're going to hit there. So we have this mask. Now notice it is applying this mask here and brightening this one area of the tree. So if we come back in here to our mask, we can see it's kind of screwing that up there. That's not how we want. So notice in the other one, I painted this out so we didn't have that effect. So uh, I could go back in and paint this out. We're going to go back in time here, get rid of that mask. Since I've already created a mask that I like, I'm going to hold Alt Option and drag this up. And now I have kind of this effect being applied there. I'm going to invert it. And now we have this kind of cool effect going on up here in this image. So now this brightening effect is only happening in the sky. So you can see this would be really like difficult area to mask out. So if we wanted to um, make this darker area even darker, I can literally just hit Command J and Command J and keep applying it and making that area darker and darker and darker and darker. I don't think we need it so much. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually just going to once again go into the mask and make sure that none of this detail is showing through. So we can see we're good there and we're good there. So what I'm going to do here is just make a new layer and I'm going to take black and paint that out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but you'll get the effect. So if we're not getting the effect right away in certain areas, we can easily go in with a mask. I would sometimes go in there with uh, flow and change the flow. It's a little bit hard to paint with this green little icon. I can't always tell where it's the edge of my brush versus the edge of this little green icon that shows you what I'm doing. So I can go in here and kind of selectively paint out certain areas. Um, but the th good part of it is, is we have a really nice transition between brush and branch um, versus our original image which really had a lot of detail so now we have this kind of ominous cool tree and we could use it for whatever reason we want so that is how you use apply image in Photoshop it's absolutely wonderful for this effect um, you can also if you want use the blend if if you know how to use blend if in conjunction with it to even isolate uh, certain areas even more as well so thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below and we would love to have you subscribe.